Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we just solved the entire Goron Dodongo problem, and this part, we're going to be going around a bit because there's quite a few things we can do. For example, you know how Darunia said we can head up to Death Mountain and see the Great Fairy? You don't have to do that, that's a completely optional thing, but it's kind of handy. Actually, wait a minute. I actually think this is the necessary one. One of the Great Fairies is necessary. I definitely know. I know which one it is, I just don't know where they are. Um, I think the one that... That we can... Oh, you've gotta be... Really? 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 I can't get him. Can't get it, it's too high. I really should've just waited for him to come down. Hold on! Hold on! We're going out of here just so we can respawn that one guy. I believe if you don't get the uh, token then the guy respawns. Which is kinda nice. You know, it's nice for them to do that, but... Uh, it put them in an out of reach place! So yeah, you can use your bombs to break rocks and stuff that are weak. Just like the uh, classic games, there's always like an indicator that tells you when when you can do that. Okay, this guy just needs to like come down. Wait, you can climb this? Okay, that well, that that that's just weird. That is weird. That is weird beyond belief. That is weird. Let let's do that again. There you go. Climb up this. How can you can climb up that wall? Oh, never mind. Anyway, it's night time. Yeah, night time. Anyway, I'm gonna get out the bug because we still got one more bug, which is quite handy. I'm gonna restock on my bugs once we're done. Once we're done here. Actually, I think the bug is... Yeah, it's just here. Um, by the way, there's a second purpose for these things. It's, uh, for these patches of soft soil. It's not just the bugs that you can use them on. Or that you can use on them. There's something a bit later. And trust me, that one is a lot more helpful at times. Because Skull is not exactly the most helpful most needed things. Don't have it going without permission. Anyway, so yeah, Skulltula. Which means this is big number 19. So if we get one more, then we can get our second reward. So anyway, I will kind of fast travel up to Goron City. I'll see you kids over there. Okay, so now we're in Goron City. Now, there's a couple of, of new things you can get. First of all, you'll notice this guy rolling around like like crazy. He'll also, like, roll you over. It's kind of... It's kind of... Oh my gosh. Um, 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 um. So, what you want to do is you want to go around here to this kind of closed-in part. And what you want to do is you want to get out a bomb, because this guy's going to come up. What you want to do is, you want to bomb him while he's in this kind of area, you know, this kind of back area. Alright, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. What? <laughs> um, kind of inside of him, okay. You got a big bomb bag. He kind of gets irritated with you for stopping him rolling, but if you have courage to stop him inside of here, then yeah. Okay, so now, um, I believe it's actually on the top. Um, yeah, you see that room kind of in the northwestern kind of bit, kind of, you know, kind of. I believe, yeah, you can use your bombs to explode these. Also, by the way, that that upgrade refills all your bombs, which is quite nice. And now we can hold 30, so that's a lot of bombs. Now, that being said, you're going to need quite a lot of bombs if you're going to want to progress through this maze. Now, so some of these... So you definitely can't break the grayish rocks, but you can break the brown rocks. Unfortunately, there's only one way to actually get through here, and there's no reward for like going through the side areas. So, for example, breaking either of these two rocks on the sides won't actually get you any good things. 
won't, won't get you anything, actually. You will only need, like, four bombs in order to get to the optimal way through here. But, if you do that, just kind of follow that path. Just kind of do a bit of a sneak to the right. And... You can open these chests, which will... Oh, which will give you a purple rupee in one. And... A purple rupee in the other. So that's a good 200 rupees, which means I'm maxed out already. Also, there's a skull tooler in here. I thought I should like, like to let you know. But considering we've maxed out on our ru rupees again, yeah. Now that's skull skull tooler number 20. So you're thinking, oh, I'll get another upgrade for my. <gasps> Holy crap, bugs! Bugs. Must. Must. Uh. I'm actually gonna ditch the fairy. Ditch the fairy because I need bugs. I think I just lost the bugs anyway. Yep, bugs disappeared. There's, uh, apparently there's a rupee actually on the other side of this ro these rocks here, but there is no way to get to them. It's like, uh, in Wolfenstein. Uh, uh, in Wolfenstein 3D, you know that big maze in that one stage? Um, and then, like, you know, call, ard call, call Apogee, say Aardvark or something. Well, anyway, yeah. Um, it's kind of like in that, because some of the, well, it's not, it's not really the same thing, but you know what I mean, they, they design these areas and you can't even get to them, because you push the wall, and it goes through, and then you gotta, like, push lots of hidden walls, and there's, like, this big maze, but sometimes the pushable walls actually cover up some of the thingos, and considering they all count as secrets, that stage, it's impossible to get 100% secrets, in fact, it's impossible to get, like, six of them. Because it happens quite a couple of times. Anyway, let's head up to Death Mountain because why not? Kicks. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So I missed out on getting the um, Elder's letter. No, I missed out on uh, getting the bugs, unfortunately. But don't worry, just go back to Kakariko and get them. That was a good throw. So anyway, you can break these rocks with your bombs. You can also get money from them. But hey, who's maxed out on their wallet? Well, this one's a bit tricky because you get a time to throw right. For example, not like that, and don't throw it over. Hiya! Okay, well, that, that wasn't good. Onwards! Still missed, huh? Oh. Got it. Red rupee. Oh my gosh. Getting lots of money. That's the thing with this game, you get quite a lot more money than you can hold. Even with a bigger wallet, I'm maxed out. Well, then again, I did find 100 rupees just lying around. Now, make sure you got your Highland Shield here, because... Hole and snap, eruption, and then these will just fall on you, so... If you see a shadow on you... These will just try and kill you all the time. So basically, it will take quite a while to get across this. And that stops. I'm just gonna run it. Okay, I'm, I'm running it. Anyway, now I'm going to equip the slingshot. Because there's Skull Toolers on here. And now, just, you know, the eruption just casually stops. Like, it just happens then. Can I actually hit that guy from. Yes, I can. That's nice. Thank you, nuts! So anyway, just climb this big mountain, you know, just casually. Casually climb the mountain. Skeletal, don't get me! Yes! Oh, hello, Kapora, Kapora, Gabora. Oh, yeah, Kapora. Now, before we go, that. The Great Fairy is not in here, and in fact, this isn't really the safest place to be in. But, according to Zelda Dungeon, you can grab some nice goodies, and, you know, there's no other... In fact, yeah, there's no other real thing to do here, so... You get a whole good 30 seconds to kill yourself. And there's a business scrub, and I think I botched this up. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? I'll get one item and then I'll just kind of back it off. Okay, I'm just backing it off. Back! Back it up! Back it up! I've messed it up so much. Okay. Let's get back in. Yeah! <laughs> okay. So. No, don't climb on the box! There's a Skulltula. Why? Is there a Skulltula here? I don't know. So anyway, that's a big 21. If, you, if you're wondering why we're getting so many Skulltulas, well that's just because there's a hundred in the game. There's a hundred in the game! You gotta get tons of them. If the game's only like 20 hours long, you gotta get that. Oh, why is it 12? Oh, maybe because I'm lower on health. How about we go to the Great Fairy and then we... And then we, uh, head down. Oh, and then we get the thing. Because the Great Fairy will heal us, which is quite nice. <gasps> bugs! Bugs, bugs, bugs. Yeah! Get some bugs in a bottle! You you put a bug in a bottle! Oh, that's so good. So yeah, apparently you get less time for the less health you have. Anyway, go to the Great Fairy's Fountain. Uh, the Great Fairy's Fountain is a very convenient place. Then, try force on the ground so you gotta play this. Also, be prepared to be weirded out. This game's PG. In fact, it was it was literally released as a G-rated game in Australia on the 3DS. You know, with HD this. Well, it's not really that HD. It's 240p, but higher higher quality textures. Anyway, receive it now. Anyway, she get. Oh my gosh. Pointy boobs. Anyway, she grants us a new ability. Not only does she heal us, but she also... Gives us... The... Spin Attack! To do the Spin Attack, you hold the B button to charge your weapon, and then you release B to unleash a wave of energy. If you want to release energy without charging, you can rotate the stick. That's a faster way to do it. But it's a bit trickier to do it, so they're like, hey, just hold B. So anyway, when you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic. Uh, so the spin attack, like, you can do a spin attack without the magic, once you're out of magic. But, um, you know, it's not as efficient. You may as well just do, just do regular attacks anyway. Next time you're in the you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Castle Town, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, this one is one that you'd want. When battle has made you weary, come back to see me again. There's a big pool. So yeah, so now we have a magic meter, a magicometer. The magic meter is used up using magic spells, but unfortunately, we don't really get that many right now actually. You don't want really to get many magic spells. That being said, the spin attack does use it, and the spin attack does increase damage with the magic man. It reminds me of Hexen. See, 48 seconds, 48 seconds, here you go. So we got the um We got the Skulltula now. Walk over to the edge here just kinda of slowly and there you go. You can climb on this ledge. Actually I'm gonna drop it. Because there's a piece of heart here. Hey, it's an easy piece of heart to get, so you may as well get it. There you go. There you go. Just climb, and it'll all be fun. Okay, so now we'll just head outside. Now, just before I end this part, because I'm actually going to have a reasonably lengthened part this time. There's one thing we can do. We can talk to Mr. Kapora here. Hoot hoot. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, 
I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Woohoot! So yeah, so just kind of grab on. I don't check the sign. Just okay. So yeah, we're flying. So yeah, you can ride the owl all the way down the mountain, or more specifically, around the mountain because he decides to take like a little bit of a detour. But anyway, he's very nice, and he drops you off in Kakariko Town, and particularly on top of this roof, which is actually quite handy. There. Um. So since we're up here, there is something we can we can get. You'll need a later item to get this should you ignore the owl's way. Uh, you're supposed to get this uh, piece of heart using a bit of a different method, but... I can jump down there, right? Yeah, okay, good. The platform stretches. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Don't climb back on. Just kind of edge off. I don't, I don't want to jump off. There you go. Just want to kind of fall down. Yeah, you can actually use this as a method of getting this piece of heart. It's not the intended way. That you're supposed to get it uh, using a later item. But considering you can get it like this, then hey, that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, actually, just before we finish off as well, let's head back to the um, let's head back to the uh these guys because though they will give us a new item so the curse is being more and more lifted I don't think he looks any more improved but it will be another one of his brothers who are free of this guy they all look the same actually wearing the same clothes too the curse has been broken thank you here's a reward for you and it gives you the stone of agony if you if you equip a rumble pack it will react to nearby secrets there's a bit of a problem with this. If you're using a classic controller, there is no rumble. So, this item is completely useless. On the 3DS one, it actually comes up as a flashing icon. But in this game, can't do anything about it on the, on the Virtual Console. Ugh. Okay. Well, anyway, I will see you guys next time on Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you guys then. <laughs>